The next scenario is once we collect all of the pellets. So let's see here. Let's go down to our, oh, I'm in the wrong script. I want to be in our game manager and we want to look for collected pellet. So we added to our score already. Check if there are any pellets left. We're going to say if pellets left equals zero. We're also not going to need this. We're just going to add one to current level because we beat the level. We're going to set cleared level to equal true. We are going to call stop game, which we will create. We are going to pause for a second. And we are going to restart our core team of setup. So we need to make sure that collected pellet now returns IE numerator. And then Pac-Man when they call collected pellet or maybe it was the node controller. Yes, it was the node controller. We're going to have to do a start core routine here. Okay, so now we need to find our start game. We're going to have stop game. We're going to say game is running equals false. We want to stop our siren from playing. So stop. And now ideally, when we collect our very last pellet, it'll add one to our current level. It'll say clear level equals true. It'll stop the game from running, which will make all the characters pause in their current place. It will wait for a second and then it will call setup. So we'll go up to setup here. So if we cleared the level, it's going to flash a background, which we will add in a second. Um, it's going to reset a bunch of stuff. It's going to respawn our, our nodes or our pellets. And then we'll wait for another four seconds before actually starting uh, the level. So everything will spawn and go back to its place. And then we will wait. So let's just create a quick background. I'm going to minimize my nodes. And let's just go under canvas and create a new UI image all right and because it's UI we need to scroll out and we can look at our game view actually to see where the image is we're just going to make the width bigger than the game so we could just set it to like 500 by like 800 or something. It doesn't really matter how big it is. And then we're going to set it to black. And this is going to be just called black background. And if we go to our game manager, we need to be able to access this. So we're going to type in public image black background. And then in setup, we're going to say if cleared level, then we want to enable our black background by setting enable to be true. And then down here, we are going to set enabled to equal false. And by default, it shouldn't be on either. So we're going to put it to false in awake. All right. Now, unfortunately, in order to test this, I'm going to have to collect every pellet. So I'm just going to fast forward until we get closer to the end. Oh, also keep in mind that, and I made this mistake, you want to put your black background into your game manager. Okay, let's try this again. All right, so we're approaching the end of the level. Is this going to work? Okay, so... That worked pretty well. However, I just noticed three things right off the bat. So first of all, Pac-Man did not stop animating. Second of all, 
uh, when Pac-Man spawned, again, he was in the last direction that he was in before, so he was facing right instead of facing left. And third, the ghosts were automatically ready to leave home. So let's go to our player or our enemy controller and go to their setup. You can see we did not reset ready to leave home. Back to false, so they immediately left. Next, we want to set our sprite renderer dot flip x. Whoops, sprite. What was this? So, oh, we just called it sprite. Dot flip x equals false. So now Pac-Man shouldn't be flipped. It wasn't actually the direction because we had it here, so I knew it must have been the flip X. And finally, in our game manager, when we call stop game, we need to also call Pac-Man dot get component player controller dot stop. Whoops. We're going to create a new function called stop. Sometimes it just auto fills stuff in and it's, it's awful. <laughs> okay, stop. So then we're going to set moving to be false. So now we should automatically stop moving. Ideally, as soon as we collect all of our pellets. Okay, once again, we are approaching the end. Let's see what happens. So I stopped moving. That's good. We're back in the right direction. And pink should immediately leave home. And we have a mistake with blue. Interesting. Okay, let's see what's going on with blue. So I scroll down and I can see blue's current node is set to right. So that's a little bit odd. because our starting node is set to left. So, if we go to our enemy controller and we go to setup, we set our movement controller.current node to equal the starting node. So why is our blue going to the right? I have a slight theory that it could be because the ghost's last moving direction was set to right. So let's go to our movement controller on our blue ghost right now. We can see the direction and last moving direction does not equal anything. So I'm wondering if we set this to right. Yes, okay, so that's, that's the exact problem that we have. So in our setup, just make sure you set movement controller dot direction equal to nothing and movement controller dot last moving direction equal to nothing. And let's try and do this one more time. Okay, so our last moving direction needs to be changed. See, this is really nice for you guys because... Okay, well, hold on now. I'm confused. My last moving direction was left. Oh, we need to reset our actual direction. See, this is nice for you guys because you can just like... This is just cut-ins for you. I have to I have to complete the level every single time. I could technically set it up so that you only need to collect like two pellets. I probably should have done that. <laughs> so I did notice a bug. I just beat the level. And you'll notice pellets left is not set back to total pellets. So in our setup of our game manager... If it is a new game or cleared level, pellets left equals total pellets. And I'll run this again. I believe everything is working well this time. All right, let's do this again. Cool, so our pellets left were reset. I'm noticing on the second run through of this game though, uh, the ghosts are not leaving their ghost homes. So I'm wondering what is going on here. So ready to leave home is false. So we're going to need to take a look into that. I think what's happening is we need to set 
left home before equal to false. And then just set it to true if you're red. So yeah, I think that's what was happening is because our ghost had left home before, uh, the game manager was not respawning them into the game. Okay, so let's try this one more time. Oh, I just noticed if I was going down, Pac-Man automatically swapped into its left direction. That's interesting. I'll have to look into that. Let's see for now if the ghosts will spawn. Okay, so blue spawned and orange spawned. Okay, so I'll take a look into that next bug. And you might be wondering, like, why are there so many bugs? And this is just programming nature. Honestly, you have to just constantly test stuff to figure out what's wrong and why it's wrong. So I figured out what the bug is. Basically, in stop, we do not want to set moving to false. And the reason why is because if we set moving to false, all of our animations turn off, including the current direction that we were facing. What we actually want to do is set animator dot speed to zero. So rather than changing the animation or turning uh, the animator off, we're pausing it. And then in setup, we want to set our animator dot speed to be back to one. All right, so we're gonna go up and you can see we pause and respawn, great. So we've now done two out of three of the setups. We have it so when we start a new game, it sets up and when we collect all the pellets, it sets up. The next thing we need to do is have it so that when we get eaten, it sets up. 